throw it off the money. Touchdown for Devontae Adams. Play action, end zone, touchdown, Fitzgerald. 3D is really the freedom to go anywhere on the field that you want as a fan. It's amazing. That's really cool. That's really cool technology. It improves the viewer experience, whether you're sitting in the stadium or sitting at home. Finds an opening, and there goes Gordon down the sideline. That's awesome. The catch, like right off the ground, that's better than being in my seats. And a one-handed catch. What a grab. For the NFL, it's always about bringing the fans closer to the game. With Intel's technology, I think there's a great opportunity to show fans a different perspective. Intel 3D footage is truly the most unique way to watch a game. It's never been done before on a football field, and you can't really replicate it without this technology. Newton, can he get there? Touchdown! 3D has been unbelievable for our fans. There's pylon cameras now, right? There's the overhead camera now. But what 3D's allowed us to do is provide a replay angle that they never would have been able to see. Intel's brought a whole lot of power to this technology. We're taking 38 different cameras that are installed in a stadium, processing terabytes of data every single minute through 38 different servers. When we film the game with volumetric video, instead of a two-dimensional pixel, we carry three-dimensional voxels. A voxel is a 3D pixel. When you look at a voxel, you're measuring height, width, depth, and weight by seeing things within voxels. Now we can map everything that's happened on any given field or court. So it's a massive amount of data that needs to get processed into a volumetric highlights where we can fly a virtual camera and show the action on the field from any angle. Oh, what a catch by David Njoku for a touchdown! The fact that we can see catches like that and the plays that these guys are making is pretty incredible. Looking for Benjamin. I love that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> We're going to be going with quarterback number three. Be the player shows you what happened, but from an angle that no other camera can get. Last game we had the angle of Joe Flacco, what he was seeing, where he had to get a touchdown pass through a bunch of defenders. That's what's so cool about 3D is that they're coming up with things that none of us have even considered. You can put the viewers in the action. That's where the true evolution is going to come and how we cover the game. It's going to make for a much more enriching experience. I can envision a world in the future where it touches football operations, broadcast operations. Our players and coaches can learn from a 3D angle, the block they may have missed, or the pass that was open. It is a game changer. Boyer, touchdown! Cross the football, goes up and gets it. Open receiver, and it's caught! Leaps into the end zone.